Now consider an array of size n with n distinct numbers in it. If you take two elements of this array, if you let's say you take the ith element and the jth element, where i is less than j, and if it turns out that the value of the ith element is more than the value of the jth element, then the pair i comma j is called an inversion of a. For example, for example, if we consider this array A of size n and we pick these two elements, the ith element and the jth element, and when it said that i is less than a, j, in this visual diagram, it translates to i being to the left of j. So the left element a of i, if it's greater than the right element a of j, then i comma j is going to be an inversion. So for example, if i here is 7, a of i is 7 and a of j is equal to 3, then 7 comma 3 is going to be an inversion. On the other hand, if i is equal, to, if a of i is equal to three and a of j is equal to seven, then three comma seven is not an inversion. So, if you look at problem two dash four in Corman, the first part of the question asks, what are the five inversions of this array? Two, three. 6, 8, 1. This array with 5 elements. Well, if you if you look at the first 3 elements, 2, 3 and 6, you can see that the first 3 elements are already in sorted order. So, uh, there are no inversions within the first 3 elements. So, had the array just been 2, 3 and 6, uh, you wouldn't have had an inversion. I'm sorry, this is actually 8 and this is 6. So the the array is actually 2, 3, 8, 6, 1. So if you look at 2, 3 and 8, there are no inversions within this section. But if you look at the fourth element now, 6, 6 is actually less than 8. So 8 is to the left of 6, but the value of the left element here, 8 is greater than 6. So 8 comma 6 is an inversion of this array. Then when you bring in the fifth element, which is 1, 1 has a value less than all these four elements and one appears to the right of all these four elements. So there are going to be four inversions here of which one is a part. 2 comma 1, 3 comma 1, 8 comma 1, and 6 comma 1. So these are the five inversions of the input array, of the given input. You can see that for each inversion, the element on the left is has a value that is larger than the element on the right. The second part of the question asks, if you are given an array where the elements of the array are drawn from this set of integers 1 to n, which array is going to have the most inversions? Or uh, putting it another way, which permutation of these n numbers is going to have the most inversions, the highest number of inversions. Well, uh, let's just consider an array where the elements are 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on till n. How many inversions will this sorted array have? Well, it doesn't matter which two elements you're going to pick, you, 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 you'll, it, it'll never be the case that the element on the left is 
more than the element on the right because this array is sorted. So as you're going from left to right, values are increasing. So if you look at an if you look at an array where the elements are literally one to n in that order, there are actually zero inversions. So from this you can guess that if if you were to reverse sort an array, so let's consider an array where the elements are n, n minus 1, n minus 2, and so on, down to 1. Then no matter what two elements you pick from this array, the element on the left is going to be more than the element on the right. Doesn't matter which two elements you pick. So if you want to maximize the number of inversions, you can't do any better than this because every single pair of elements that you pick from this array is going to be an inversion because the element on the left is going to be more than the element on the right. So which array with elements from the set 1 to n has the most inversions? Well, this reverse sorted array. And how many inversions does it have? Well, since every pair of elements is going to be an inversion, this is equivalent to asking how many, in how many ways can you draw a pair of elements? In how many ways can you draw a pair of elements or a of i comma a of j whatever so i and j are the indices of course and a of a of i and a of j are the values in how many ways can you pick two indices i and j from this array let me just call it a here well, because there are n elements in total. There are n choose two ways to choose a pair of elements. And for every pair that you choose, this condition is going to be satisfied. Okay, if you look at the, the element on the left, and if you look at the element on the right, the value of the element on the left is going to be more than the value of the element on the right. This will be true for every pair you choose from this reverse sorted array. And because there are nc2 pairs of uh, elements in uh, this array, or there are n choose two ways of choosing two elements from this array, the number of inversions in this array is going to be nc2, which is n, n minus 1 by 2. 